Yeah, I'd rather be a lover than a fighter Cause all my life I've been fighting Never felt a feeling of comfort All these Hey guys, I'm going to be making an update video today for January, so let's get started. So one of the things that definitely catches your eye in the greenhouse is this Aska Central Mini Autumn that I've showed in previous videos. Quite wonderful still, and I love these very bright little blooms. Omnia is in spike. It has two spikes starting to mature, and then also three more that I found coming out of each of the fans down here and there's one over here but yeah so it has five spikes total let you look at this beautiful Fred Clarkia after midnight SVO uh, by Catacetum Orchid Glade David Ranches and it is such a gorgeous little flower I say little but it's actually um, pretty big for a Catacetum bloom so it's very nice I like it a lot, has a lot of substance to the flower, very pretty. Um, while I show you this, I'm going to say it's everything's pretty dry in the greenhouse. We've had some very cold days. Um, I got to water once when it, uh, it wasn't too awful bad, but finally we're going to have some warmer weather this week, so I am very happy about that. Next to it is my Ingrecum leones, and as you can see, it has this bud forming here, and, and there is a bud forming here as well. So I am very excited to finally see this bloom, and to finally be able to show you all that, um, especially once it opens up. See them right. This catacetum right here is Fred Clarkia Dark Thereafter by Catacetum. Jose um, Alblado, I think it is, but it has three buds here that I am looking forward to. They look like they're going to be a little darker, so that'll be very interesting. Yellowing of leaves and uh, some pseudobulbs kind of um, starting to shrivel up. But if you're new to catacetums or you're new to orchids, this is very normal for their winter rest period. As you can see, this is coming off now, and this particular orchid goes into dormancy and loses all of its leaves and doesn't get any water. If anything, I will mist around the edges. That way I can kind of keep these pseudobulbs from depleting too much. Like this is starting to deplete a little too much, but these newer bulbs that uh, form this year are very fat and plump. Um, the Buds on this are really starting to plump up and um, show that they are going to open up soon. So I can't wait to be able to enjoy those once again. This just type that we've seen before in bloom. It is Vanda Vietnamica by Vanda Motes Ruby Pixie. And at the moment, I hope it uh, continues to grow. There is a spike there. So I am really happy about that um, in the winter time. Uh, orchids are a little, uh, well, especially bandas, are a little um, harder to get to spike because they are higher light and we don't have as much daytime uh, in the winter time. So uh, there has been some black spotting on this and I've been watching it very closely. I think I got some water droplets on there and it. we've had some cooler temperatures. So the greenhouse hasn't been the warmest, um, but that is causing those little black dots but i've been watching them to make sure they haven't spread and they have not so that is definitely all right and i am not worried about it at all and again i show you this i'm so excited for this this is an update on my rinko stylus gigantia variety spots and as you can see the spike is starting to mature with all of its buds. Stylus. This is Rinko Stylus Gigantia Variety Orange. Also maturing its spike. I'm very interested to see how this is going to lay because it keeps on. It was starting to go this way and then it come back this way and I haven't moved it from its spot. It's just the way the sun has been lately. But um, hopefully 
it will be able to open up its buds and we will be able to enjoy that. Plant is Vanda Insignis by Vanda Dissoniana. And if I turn it around, this spike is really starting to mature. And I am very excited for this one as well. Look at that little guy that we have blooming. Uh, this is Dracula Lotex. Such a cute little guy having that, what they call a little clown face. Um, but most Draculas have more of a monkey face but this one in particular has a clown face very cute it does have a couple more buds on the way seeing with this phalaenopsis shirleyana that the spike is starting to extend outward from the plant so hopefully we'll start to see some buds forming soon this is the mistacidium um capence and it is doing very well. I, I mounted this when I got it, and the roots are really starting to take. Um, I can't wait for the springtime to when it gets uh, a whole bunch of new root growth. But um, if we look very closely, there is a new growth that I found right above my fingertip there. There is a little growth there. Um, not sure what it's going to be if it's a, a kiki off of the mother plant or if it is a spike i'm not sure about this plant. i don't know what time if it has a specific bloom time um i know it was blooming like the varieties were blooming when i bought this plant uh, this plant in particular wasn't blooming but um i'm not sure if it has a set bloom time or if it's like some orchids where they kind of bloom whenever they want. So we will keep an eye on that. Some beautiful new growths on my Cattleya. Root growth all over this Angrecum didirii. All the summer blooming Phalaenopsis are here and they're not uh, in bloom at this time, obviously, because they are more of a summer bloomer and they have a tendency to stall their spikes until the warmer weather. This is the Orangus Lutea alba variety Rhodostricta, and it has two spikes. The one spike lost a few buds. Um, I'm not sure exactly why, but I'm very happy to say that all of the other buds are doing just fine, and we will be able to see some blooms this season. There are buds all over my Dendrobium microchip. I'm very happy for that. I just wanted to show you these beautiful blooms once again on my project on um, Dendrobium. And it also is showing some new spikes for us. This Phalaenopsis here is in spike once again this year and is starting to open up its beautiful blooms. My Cattleya is starting to fade all of its blossoms and I'm very happy though that I was able to enjoy them this year and able to show them to you all. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed all those beautiful blooms. As you could see, there wasn't much going on in plant growth, but that's because we've had these really cooler days uh, and the greenhouse is cool it's not warm it's not cold it's just cool and the like i said the days aren't very long so that all affects that and the plants go into more of their dormant stage around this time of year so at least we have all these beautiful blooms to enjoy and these spikes to encourage us to come back into the greenhouse and to come back and watch the videos uh, to be able to see all these beautiful spikes that are going to become flowers and uh, I will definitely keep you all posted with those that way you can enjoy them as much as I do But I do have something coming up very soon that I know all of you all will enjoy and I hope you all um, Keep track of my when I post a video that way you can enjoy it as much as I do But I did mention that in my last video, but it's even 
closer to that time now than it was when I made that video. So very excited to show you all that. So definitely keep um, post it on my videos um, in the next week or so. So I will talk to you all next time and I hope you all have a wonderful day guys. Bye.